Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, we have got a lot of little things to get done today. And uh, like I said, we're kind of getting to the panic mode. A couple of weeks we got to uh, get the seeds in the garden and we still don't have the ground cloth pulled up um, or tilled. Uh, trying to get a bunch of things done today. But before we get started with that, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. Let's get started with the day. Lots of things to do. I was sure we were going to wake up to a bunch of frozen, dead little babies today. Went down to zero, but they were all clumped together in a ball. And I can feel the wind, of course, but there's really not much wind um, in there at all. So that's good. There she is. I was worried because she was way back in the box and. She seemed to, she pulled some of the eggs back under her, but now she's all back in her spot, aren't you, sweetie? Hey, you got them all tucked along your wings. Yes, you're such a good mama. Such a good mama. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It's so windy, you don't like that. Do you? No. So we got two, four, six, eight eggs so far today. Yes, you're exempt. Yes, you are. So Chris has been working hard at getting that uh, temporary chicken enclosure taken apart. I think we're just going to burn this cardboard now. And uh, that bottom skid was kind of pretty far gone to begin with. Just gonna go check on the babies. We ended up draping that lumber tarp over this end. They were all huddled here. Some of them, their heads were almost out while they were under this board. They were getting squished by the whole group was against this wall and it was really windy last night. So you can see they all tuck in together. And um, last night it was over on this side. Um, so we draped the, the tarp over this side and obviously got to get this stapled on better. Uh, that piece on the other end was blowing last night too. So the wind, the wind is not good for them. They don't like the wind. So anyway, they're doing, it's, it's a chilly day today. Um, it seemed warm earlier when I came out, uh, because it was so sunny, but once the clouds come out, it gets pretty chilly. But they seem to be doing good. Last night it didn't go down, I think it was like five or seven above at night, and the night before it was zero, so I was really worried about that. But they seem to be doing good. And they're eating like little pigs. Check on my little Ruby too. See how she soon. Oh, you are such a sweet girl. Aren't ya? Did you get some feed delivered to your box today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny how they like to face the corner. Um, well, almost always when they're laying eggs in any of these boxes. What do we got here? We only got three so far. Devil chickens are out laying in the fields, I think. Aren't they? Not you. You're such a good girl. We're going to try um, candling a couple of these eggs and see what's going on. Really hoping they're not duds. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say duds? Yeah, you looked rather offended, didn't you? Hey. We're also going to take the door outside, try and get two coats of the varathene on the other side. And we're just going to go out now and try and move the chicken tractor. So the babies have fresh grass today. We just had a bunch of escapees and had to get them back in the end. Oh, oh they're coming out this end. They're coming out this end. One. No, there's a whole bunch. Get back in there. Go on, you. Get back in. Okay, don't worry about it. He's trying to crawl back in through the... <laughs> they're blocked together. Oh, yeah. He's trying to get back in, but he doesn't know enough to go under. Yeah, you gotta go down. Oh. I'm 
Let's drink here first. Chicken poo. Uh, this part's the... Okay, little chickens. Now they're... No, it's careful. They're going near the wall. Come on, you guys. Lock the door. I need a... Uh... Oh! Lock the door. Okay. It won't stay locked. It needs to be... Okay, you guys. Go. Let me... I need something to get them away from the wall. Go so pull back. Come on, you guys. Go this way. Go this way. Go slow. Yeah. They're going to greener pastures, you guys. Careful, they're going against the wall. Come on, get away from there. Guys, get away from the wall. Come on. Come on, you. I don't know. I can't tell. Just okay. Careful, you're going too fast. Sure. Oh. Oh, this, this thing looks better. Get the board up. Oh, there. Goodness. Last year we had one that I think got its leg broken when the tractor got moved. So trying to keep them away from the wall of the tractor while Chris is moving it is what I was concerned with. Yeah, there's a hole down in that far corner, Chris. There's one already there. So we got the, the hole locked here. They started coming out the other end and then they started coming out this end after we got them in that end. So. I'm not sure if the camera was pointing at the right place. There wasn't time to get the camera repositioned. Yeah, you can see how the ground is so uneven, so we'll put a board there to keep them from coming out there. Oh my goodness. See guys, it's so much nicer. You got fresh grass. Hey? Yeah, they're happy now. We're just going to leave these stakes and everything out here so that we can stake it down if the wind picks up again. I was slipping and sliding in the chicken poop too. And I was trying to watch the chickens or herd the chickens or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to staple this tarp a little bit better so it quits flapping in the wind. This is the corner they were tucked into last night. so. I want this to stay on here. Just want to check on the greenhouse too. It's back and forth. You can see the sky and it's like cloudy one minute, sunny the next, then cloudy, then sunny. Oh, look at all the new blossoms on the Ascot plants. This one anyway, last week the blossoms were popping on this one. So they're, they do um, uh, get blossoms at different times. That one, like I said, has gone absolutely bonkers. I'm pretty sure this is the one I thought was dead. 
and I those cuttings that I took off and stuck in a banana um, I've transferred to water so I'm gonna see if I can get four cuttings off of those apple trees doing great this thing seems to have dried out but we'll see Sheldon says it'll take root my um, new raspberry plants are even getting blossoms on them in the greenhouse and look at the tomato plants I think this is peppers on this side and there's more beans coming up here so I should water this to get the dirt off I guess you can see where the beans split and uh, created a plant same with these so and there's one here it needs to be washed off looks like there's going to be another one coming out of there you come starting to sort of see recognize how the dirt splits apart and not too much but I wish I'm hoping some of those heirloom tomatoes come up but like I said that was my first time um, saving seeds don't know if I did it right and I still don't see anything from the ginger come on ginger I didn't water these for two or three days because they were so wet I was worried about them being too wet. They were getting a little bit of like green moss on the top. So they're pretty dried out now. So I'll get them watered and then get on with some other stuff. I forgot to look at the temperature when I opened the doors, but the doors are open now and it's still almost 35 Celsius in here. So it must've been pretty hot again before I opened the doors. So I'm gonna leave the doors open on the nice days like this. doing now 
Ruby's in her nest, of course. Let's see if there's any eggs. Oh yeah, there's three eggs down there in the bottom. They're starting to use those ones. I'm gonna try candling these eggs. We've seen other people do it, but this I can flashlight can't see it. Maybe hold it up by the ceiling. I think the daylight is. No, that doesn't seem to be showing anything, does it? No, I think we need that little light. Yeah. Not strong enough. Oh dear. The other one's too strong and this one's not strong enough. Cool. We can't really see anything. Yeah, but see on the ends it's clear and in the middle it's... Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We saw somebody else do this on a different channel, so we don't know whether we're doing it wrong or what. I'm going to give Ruby her little egg back. And uh, she stopped making noise. She's probably upset. Oh, now she's starting again. Want to try that one? I don't know. I don't really see anything. I saw the yolk end when you turned it. Or the, oh yeah, see how it's... Yeah. Yeah. So there's got to be something in there. Yeah. Mm. I apologize. It's only six days now till um, we're hoping she'll hatch some chicks. So we'll see. We clearly don't know what we're doing. Hopefully she does. <laughs> hey Ruby, are you the only one that knows what you're doing? This one we can again clearly see the end part. So we don't know if that's where the feed sack is or what. We obviously don't know what we're doing. Maybe somebody else will be able to tell us what we're doing wrong. We saw someone else do it online and it was pretty clear. But then they were maybe at a different stage too. Oh yeah, again it's the fat end, isn't it? Or is that the fat end? end? That's the skinny end. Hmm. Maybe just spin it around. Oh yeah. See? No, I can't see. The lighting's not working. The daylight's shining right onto the egg. See? Oh yeah. There's a solid line there. You know, the daylight... Oh. The light's shining off your yeah, hand. See? Oh. Okay, let me see if I can get the end. camera. No, it's not. Okay, now I can see the line. Yeah. Right, right there. And this end is over there. Hmm. Yep. There we go. Now I can see it. It's in focus. Yeah, okay. sweetie. Come on. You gonna go move back on them? Or are you gonna move them underneath you? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. because there's yolk on her beak that maybe she had broken one of the eggs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so judgy. Yeah. Now look where the silly robins built a nest. I can't see if there's eggs in there or not. Down. 
here. But anyway, the ladder's not even securely against the wall and they built a nest there. Not sure if they're gonna be around or not. Now I don't know if you saw the other video where um, I called the chickens because Chris does this and I hadn't done it myself and I just find it absolutely hilarious how they come running like they've never eaten before and uh, I have a bunch of cutoffs from the vegetables that I got prepared for stir fry for supper so I cut them up and I'm going to try calling the chickens. Now I think they're right here so it's not nearly as much fun as it is when they run like a long distance. So I'm, I might wait, but I'm gonna call the chickens. And uh, so they come running for this pail of treats, which is gonna be pretty funny. This is where we usually get this stuff to them. I probably should have been doing it over in the other area. Chris is uh, watching the fire down there. He's got the garden hose down there and he's um, keeping an eye on the fire because the wind is not bad right now, but the wind, it just comes and goes just like the sun. And um, it really picked up and the grass started to burn, so. Oh, there. Now, where's the other girls? I guess they're still over at the other pile, are they? Chris has got, I don't know if he's got to put one more coat on. He got a coat on this just earlier. And I don't know if he maybe has to put one more coat on and then this door is done. Pretty exciting. I saved some on a paper towel for Ruby. So I'll give her some of this too. There you go, sweetie. There you go. What do you think? Oh, you got straw in your head. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Do you want some of this? Hey, do you want some of that? What do you think? Are you still upset about this morning? Hmm? Yeah, we were a little worried she wasn't moving the eggs back under, but she got them all tucked back underneath, didn't she, sweetie? Yes, you did. They were all kind of out here when Chris put them back, and she wasn't doing anything. So she obviously tucked them all back underneath after we left. Well, enough fooling around. Um, now I've got to get this vacuumed. Um, because Chris sanded here on the walls where he filled the screw holes. Um, so I'm going to vacuum this up and because this mess makes me upset. Get this vacuumed and um, I'm going to start painting this wall so that we can get the mirror sprayed tomorrow probably and get it hung and out of the way and then tomorrow maybe we'll get these uh, concrete boards hung too. So this wall here that was the worst, um, Chris actually put paintable caulking in the bevels and here too. Now this part isn't going to have, the cabinets are going to be on there so I'm not going to worry too much about the corners, um, but I do have to get this done along here and where the mirror is going to go and Really not that much. You can see he taped it all off because he doesn't trust me. <laughs> and the other thing is those cabinets that are going here are 18 inch cabinets. I'm just going to put a little mark on the wall um, to sort of so I know where to go, how far to go out. Uh, I'm kind of pushing the limits, putting 18s there. Um, but. I need the storage space. It's all about storage, always. So that'll give me a guide. I don't really need to do this part of the wall. Oh, I should measure down to, I suppose. Because these walls already have a couple of... Oh, I'm going to have to take that trim off of there. These are 30s, these cabinets. So down that far. That'll give me a guide anyway. Rough idea of where I have to go to. I'm just going to do the grooves on this side first. I don't really need to go in that far. 
before these upper cabinets um, are 15s so barely have to I, you know I don't know if I mean it's even worth it to go along here because the trim's gonna go on there so So they've got some paint over the caulking and just leave this wall. I'll do out to the edge because I don't know if there's going to be a little strip there um, where the trim goes on the wall or not. So I'm just going to put some paint over the V grooves where the paintable caulking is. I'm not going to worry too much about the rest of it. Uh, that this stuff's covered. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to put, dab some primer on there. You're probably get, starting to get an idea why Chris doesn't like to let me paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, primer. Let's see if I can get this spot done without getting paint on the light fixture. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done with the primer. That was easy. Um. Well guys, I've got that bathroom painted. It is summertime again. Summertime every hour, on the hour or half hour. Chris has got another coat of the Varathane on the door. I see the ash from the fire falling on it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm done painting. He's done with the Varathane. We're going to go have supper, tired out, um, and hopefully tomorrow we can get those cabinets put up now that I've got that um, wall painted. So I'm done for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you next time.